Greetings everyone, this is attorney Stephen A. Smith of the Law Offices of Stephen A. Smith here in Jacksonville, Florida, better known as the Pastor Lawyer. For those who don't know, my law firm is a personal injury law firm where we fight for victims' compensation so they can recover and get back on their feet again. Now today, I wanna to talk to you about something very important and near and dear to my heart. But before I do so, I want you to click below, like, share, and subscribe to this channel so that you can get alerts when we go live again. Now, back to the issue at hand. Today, I wanna to talk to you about something very important, and it's about what you see behind you today. It's the advertisement that says pastorlawyer.com, anointed to serve. It shows uh, the advertisement of my law firm that I'm not just a lawyer, but I'm also a pastor. And what's so unique about it is that I decided to put both of them together. Instead of having a life over here where everybody knew that I practiced law, and did not know about my ministry that I was in full time since 2009. And then for those who were here in the church setting or in the Christian religion and did not know that I was practicing law on the other end full time, I felt it was, uh, I was led to put them both together and to advertise it in, in that way. And that has ruffled a lot of feathers. And more so than, than that, certainly I want, want to say that there has been a lot of positive response. Many people who have given me kudos about it as well. But I want to dig into why people's feathers are so ruffled. And I also want to talk about why it was so important for me to do so. So stay tuned as I get into it. First, if you look behind me, you'll see that there are plenty of books here on my bookshelf in my home office. You find books on the law, you'll find books on religion, you'll find books um, that I read in my personal time as well. However, what I'm saying is that my life has been a combination of the two of these. And for everyone else, it may be something that's so unique because they haven't lived within my body for the last 20 years. However, I had a life-changing experience certainly 20 years ago that caused me to come into the faith. And by 2009, I was in ministry. And it was in 2015, some eight years, eight plus years ago, where I went into full-time pastorate. And that has uh, certainly changed my life where I am full-time shepherd and I am full-time attorney and law firm owner. So CEO of the law firm. Now, bringing those things together, why would I do such a thing? Imagine you have never been involved in a car accident or any kind of legal proceeding before and you are looking for someone to represent you because you are totally lost about it. Imagine that the same person who is caring for the flock and souls of people on a consistent basis and serving the community, feeding the hungry, clothing the naked, visiting those who are sick and shut in, those who are in jails and orphanages, and taking care of the widow. Imagine that same person who serves as a pastor and preaches every morning in the pulpit now steps out and disrobes himself and puts on a suit and goes and preaches in the courtroom. Well, that's what you get when you have an attorney like myself, the pastor lawyer. You have someone who is not just shepherding in the flock of his congregation, but you can consider being a client as an extended flock, if you will, that I am literally shepherding people through a dark and treacherous path, which is this whole personal injury maze where people have been injured and they are, don't know what to do and their vehicle is wrecked or ruined and they don't have a way to get around and they have children that need to get back and forth from daycare and they have to get back and forth to work and they have to get seen for the pain and suffering that they are having in their bodies. So who would you want to turn to? Someone that you can trust. And that's one of the reasons why having the pastor lawyer is so important because you have someone who actually cares for you, not just uh, for your body, but your soul as well. So I care about those emotions, everything that you're going through and don't treat you just like another number, but treat you as you should be treated like a person like God's child, like one of God's children. And that's exactly what you get when you come to our firm. You'll be amazed uh, some of the things that you see in this practice. There are many people who come to me from many other law practices, many other large firms where they've been treated like just another number, where they were not prioritized, where they could not get their attorney on the phone, where they could only talk to a case manager if they could talk to them, where they emailed or called 
and couldn't get a return call. That's what some people deal with and having all that uncertainty. And then they call my firm and then they're able to get me on the phone and they talk to me for 30 minutes, sometimes an hour, and they get an understanding of the whole process. And they speak to me more than they've spoken to anyone from the, the other firm. And this is on a free consultation. What do you think that person wants to do? They'll drop that attorney and they come to my firm. And that is uh, exactly what I found uh, is the case when someone is knowledgeable and more so than that, that they love people and treat people like people is when people will want to be served by them. And that's why my sign says I'm anointed to serve. It means that God has graced me with the ability to love people and to deal with people, especially in those difficult times. Maybe you're in a position where you're not feeling so lovable, where you're frustrated, where you're cranky and you maybe act out. You need someone who is not going to snap back at you, but will actually, you know, have grace and mercy in that situation and see beyond your fault and see exactly what you need and give you what you need. And that is representation that cares. And so that's one of the reasons why I have advertised as a pastor lawyer. When I began, I referenced people's feathers being ruffled. Now I wanna talk about that. When I started to advertise, what I found is that your advertisement goes into the great world wide web and then out of it springs a lot of different things. One is a negative commentary surrounding this ad about being a pastor and a lawyer. I surmise there's several different reasons for it. You know, I'll just give you some of the, the snippets of it. One is that, you know, pastors are, and lawyers are liars, and how can you do both at the same time? Doing both at the same time is a, is, you know, it's fair, it's legitimate. But when it devolves into, you know, you're going to hell for an ad like that, or he's a charlatan, uh, as if I'm beating somebody out of their money by providing the service. All this ad says is that I'm a Christian lawyer, in essence, that I'm a pastor and that I actually serve as a shepherd of a flock, of a church. Uh, and I am also a lawyer, a personal injury lawyer who helps people. And for people who uh, are Christian and who come from that background, you know, you, you would know, you would understand that uh, that there are certain things you can uh, hold me to based on what I profess to be. And certainly for those who are in, in the world, they have a commentary with regard to these things. Does it mean that I won't serve anyone else? Absolutely not. I serve anybody from any background, even those that I disagree with, I will serve you. Uh, and and that is, that is the uh, beauty of uh, running your own business, that you're able to decide what you want to do and don't want to do. But for, uh, for me, I want to serve all people. As a matter of fact, it's an extension of my ministry. And so most of my ministry isn't done in the pulpit, it's actually done outside of the four walls of the church. And uh, many of the clients I come into contact with, I'm able to minister to them in how I serve them. Uh, my office understands that, that we don't treat people any kind of way. These are people who are hurting, whether you're hurting a little or hurting a lot. It's important when you come to someone uh, who is supposed to represent you, that you are paying uh, from your settlement proceeds. That's how we get paid on contingency fee basis, that you get that level of service. And so when you get the commentary, the negative commentary, the hate, you know, that comes and spewed by people online, who are able to do so anonymously behind their keyboards or behind their cell phones. You know, it, it can take a toll on you when you actually feel and care. But with respect to those, those commentary that's not constructive, I just ignore it, block it, delete it, and keep moving forward because I know that there are people out there who will uh, value the services that we're able to provide. In addition, I had a comment that has come. I don't know if they've taken and posted uh, my ad in another group, but I continue to get these uh, these messages or these posts that say, you know, that I'm part of the Illuminati. Wow, ooh, the Illuminati, right? Here it is, it's poor black kid from Jacksonville, Florida, uh, you know, raised in the hoods of Duval County, and I'm part of the Illuminati. Come on now, be for real. This is uh, the kind of commentary that comes online where people sometimes are devoid of reason and factual background. And, uh, you know, I've become maybe some, some people's latest ire when they don't agree with Christianity or they hate organized religion or they believe you're mixing church and state or that, you know, the sacred and secular are not supposed to mix together. 
but you know this just means a Christian pastor and I am a lawyer nothing more nothing less and uh, I'm glad to be uh, branded that way now because I'm able to bring my two worlds together where those who knew I practiced law and did not know that I was a pastor or a minister and then those who knew I, I was a pastor but did not know exactly what I did for as the law is concerned they may have knew, known I was a lawyer but they didn't know what type of law I practiced I've had people in my own church who have gone to other personal injury lawyers because they didn't know I practiced personal injury law or they thought I practiced only one area of law uh, in times past and I've since niched of course uh, I've practiced many different areas of law since I've been practicing the past 13 years but in the past two and a half years it's been solely personal injury and so uh, this was one way to uh, to niche it and to let people know exactly who I am this is who I am at my core that I am a Christian and I'm a pastor I do love my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ he is the reason that I am here today uh, my God my father my Heavenly Father who continues to bless me with all heavenly gifts and to give me the grace to serve you in uh, this capacity in my legal capacity so I'm grateful for that and I will never stop proclaiming the name of the Lord or doing those things that are going to glorify my father which is in heaven that's what the Word of God says he says men may see your good works he wants men to see our good works so they can glorify our father which is in heaven so that's who I am the pastor lawyer and I'm grateful for it uh, even despite all of the negative commentary that may come with it let's say some other issues that are similar. And so when we talk about empathy, caring, concern, those things are important when it's client facing. But let me give you a story about, let's say a young woman named Keisha who had come from another firm and had been a stalemate with the uh, insurance company with regard to what they were, were willing to settle for. And when she came to my firm, pick up the phone instead of filing a lawsuit immediately or going off on the adjuster, I picked up the phone and talked to the adjuster like a person. How are you doing? You know, those kind of things, just the, the, the nice subtleties, those things that are just common good manners and good graces. And do you know that many times these adjusters who work for the insurance company, adjusters are the mainline workers who decide the value of your case in conjunction with sometimes their computer programs like Colossus and their supervisors, they'll put a value on your claim and tell you that, look, we're going to negotiate with you on the bottom end of that, that scale. And then uh, the top end is where we max out and we're not going to give you any more beyond that. And here it is, uh, instead of uh, going at Keisha's case, maybe the way that the previous lawyer did, I did so by massaging the situation. And do you know what happened? This adjuster actually increased their offer and Keisha leaves out with six figures. And that's the kind of thing that happens when you have someone who is not being a jerk, frankly, excuse me, <laughs> but is actually being affable and likable because kindness will get you places that using what we call vinegar or uh, salt won't and so that's what you get when you come to the law offices of Stephen A. Smith uh, when you have the pastor lawyer you have someone who actually cares not just for the outcome of the client but cares about people in general that's for everyone to treat everyone else as I would want to be treated and so it doesn't stop there it extends to my staff right now I have well over 15 people who work with me uh, in this firm and so even though you may only see my face there's a whole team behind me my case managers to our records team to our office admin to our accountant to to our CFO the list goes on and on uh, our social media uh, manager all those things they work together all those people are working together to make me look good as if I'm doing it all on my own when I'm really not and the reason why they work so hard to make sure our clients have the best outcome is because it is part of our ethos. It's part of our firm makeup. And so my initials are, are SAS. It stands for Strength, Advocacy, and Service. Stephen A. Smith, Strength, Advocacy, and Service. You need someone to be a strength for you in a time when you're weak. Many people come in and they are really broken and they are ready to give up and you need someone to be a strength for you. Sometimes they're willing to throw in the towel just to be done with it. 
And sometimes they need someone to stand behind them and say, look, you know, I understand how you feel, but if you allow me to do my job, I promise you, you'll get better outcome than what you're willing to take right now. And many times that's, that's what happens. Uh, they'll have a better outcome by really trusting the process and leaning and depending on the strength of their attorney. In addition, A stands for advocacy. You need someone who is going to advocate for you. That means to be your mouthpiece, to speak for you. And of course, you know, many people, they don't know the law. They don't know uh, the breadth of the law and the law is constantly changing. This past March, our governor and our legislature, they passed uh, some 200, over 200 bills. And those things are littered with things that impact negatively our citizens when it comes to tort or you know what we call personal injury law and so i have to be boned up on that i have to know exactly what's going on at any given time with the law and how it's going to impact your case so that i can show you how to navigate the waters and get you to the best possible uh, resolution for your case and so you need an advocate and so a is for advocacy and the last s is for service we want to make sure that when you leave our office that you're giving us a five-star google review and if you go to our google review page right now you'll find that almost every single review is five star that may be one or two four star and there's a couple of randoms one i'll just say this someone who was not honest in the process and then uh, wrote a bad review that's one and then there's another one star that uh, or two star that's just from some random somebody that posted on a line but you'll see by and large everyone that comes in contact with our firm they have the same outcome they have the same testimony and the reason being is that is who we are is not what we do to be able to get you know these reviews or good reviews of course it's important to me because what people say about you is your reputation but who you actually are is your character and I like to believe that our character is showing through in what our reputation is online. And so that is what we want. We want to know that our clients have been served, they've been served well. And frankly, many times there are times when people are not pleased with the outcome. And sometimes it has absolutely nothing to do with our service. It has to do with the fact that they don't have UM insurance themselves to cover themselves when the other party doesn't have enough BI insurance. And so it means that they are walking away without, you know, having the type of recovery that their injury suggests they should have. And that's one of the things that we discussed in another video with respect to the type of insurances you need to have, because there are a lot of people who are riding around the state of Florida without the type of coverage that will protect you when they injure you in a crash. And you have to be able to protect yourself and your family that you're riding with. And so many times that is the case that there's little funds uh, to recover from and we can only recover what's available from the bodily injury protection insurance and the uninsured motors protection insurance and that's it and so if there's none available then that's you know the extent of the uh the help that we can provide and so you know it's out of our hands and so that is part and parcel of the reason why we try to educate the public, educate our clients on what they need to do, how they need to go and set up their insurance uh, coverage, and certainly we direct them to insurance professionals, but in dealing with this on a daily basis, we see many people who are injured and cannot recover, and it has absolutely nothing to do with the attorney. We stand ready to fight for you, but you have to have the insurance coverage available. And so I'll deal with insurance coverage in another video as well, but that is the second point I wanted to make about why it's important to have the pastor lawyer on your team. The third point I wanna to make to you is that the pastor lawyer is rooted in the community. What that means is that we are here to stay. You may remember at Big Mama's house, there's a big oak tree in her generation, it was there. In your parents' generation, it was there. And even in your generation, you grew up and that same oak tree was right there rooted in the yard. And you and your siblings, your cousins, y'all climbed that tree and fell down and hurt yourself. And you may have had to pick switches from it to, uh, for your whoopings, you know, uh, back then when we had corporal punishment. But that is something that was rooted in the yard. And the pastor lawyer is the same way. We're rooted in the community. So your fight is my fight. Anything happens in your community, it happens in my community. 
And so I care about my community. If you look at many of the things on social media that we do, we sponsor many events, whether they're church events, whether they're community events, nonprofit events, we sponsor a lot in the community. And so whether it is a toy giveaway for Christmas, toy drives for Christmas, or whether it is June 10th events with bounce houses and things to celebrate the holiday, or whether it is Labor Day, whatever the event is, we're here to celebrate our community because we are here rooted in the community. And we're not taking off and going anywhere else. We are here. And this is the community that I love. And so at any given time, you may find me doing outreach in, uh, in some of the places what they call the worst in Jacksonville. Maybe it's Hilltop where we go often for my church and we give out food and we uh, witness to people about the love of Christ and we give out free legal services and free legal consultations, things, things of that nature to help people who need it the most. So we are rooted in the community. And that's what you wanna know. You wanna know you have someone who has your back that is not way over there, but actually gives back to your community. So the same support that you give to my business, it actually goes right back in the community and cycles through our community. In other places, Unfortunately, that doesn't happen. But the one thing that I am uh, proud about is that I'm from Jacksonville, born and raised, do all till I die. And I continue to give back to the same community that gave so much to me and continues to support me in my practice. So that's the third thing. Pastor Lori is rooted in the community and your fight is my fight. Brothers and sisters, we've all been there where we feel small, overpowered, overmatched, and unheard, like there isn't even a chance for us in the world. Well, that's where the pastor lawyer steps in and your fight becomes my fight. Your fight becomes our fight and we fight together. And that's the way we make it, is by fighting together. And I am glad that I am able to be on your team and your side to go up against those Goliaths in our lives while we're David. But we got five smooth stones and we haven't thrown one yet. So you have to know this, that you have something greater that is working on your side. The word of God says, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. And we know that, that he that we speak of is God or Christ within us. And we also know that there is a he in the world, the enemy, the devil, the adversary, uh, who continues to fight against our lives. And we know that when we get into these legal situations we need a fighter we need an advocate we need someone on our side and i'm glad to be that for you i'm glad the pastor lawyer is able to be there for you in your community to fight for you so brothers and sisters let's continue to stick together let's continue to work together when you need me reach out and let us know frankly i practice personal injury law only nothing else however i do keep a rolodex of good lawyers of competent lawyers and those who will treat you right. And if you need help on any legal front, give me a call, send us a message, and we'll make sure we direct you to someone who can help you. And if they treat you wrong, let us know. Then they won't get a referral again. And you have to know that, that we have to sit together and look out for one another because we are our brother's keeper. So if you or your loved one ever finds yourself in a need, hurt, or in an accident, don't hesitate to give me a call. I am ready to fight for you, not just in law, but also in spirit, because we pray for our clients as well. And that is something that is unique, that we lead with our heart and everything else, it just tends to work out for us. Uh, we look forward to working with you and seeing you. If something that has been said touches your heart or hit a chord, go ahead and click like, share, subscribe, and we look forward to continue to work with you Signing off today, Pastor Lawyer, Attorney Stephen A. Smith, where we are learning to serve you.